It's not a lie. If you would just listen, I could explain. You have done quite enough explaining, Volotham Gadam. You have poisoned the very hearts and minds of these good, kind, gentle citizens with your lies, your delusions, your conspiracies. Though you hide behind a mask of stories, we have seen beyond the veil. We see what you really are, fear monger. Let's go meet the uh, Mistra, I guess. I don't know what's gonna happen, but. So here, right? Let's no, that's the Lune. Ah, here. Statue of Mistra. There she stands, just as Elminster promised. Mistra, goddess of the weave, mother of all magic. The old man wasn't lying. She's opened the summoning channel. Can't you feel it? Gail's right. The very air around the statue crackles with magic. As though the weave itself were coursing beneath her stony skin. Okay. A stream of pure, undiluted weave. I only have to reach out, and it will carry me to Mistra, wherever she may be. Well, go on then. It's rude <laughs> to keep a goddess waiting. <laughs> Time was I'd have given my right arm for a chance to speak with Mistra again. <laughs> the left one, too. Maybe a knee. You ready am for I? this? You're right. I am a strong, capable wizard. <laughs> this is no more than a casual reunion with an ex-lover. My omnipotent, uh, omniscient ex-lover. I always wonder what being nervous would feel like. I hate it. During my time locked away in Waterdeep, I prepared a quite comprehensive speech for her on the subject of our former relationship and the manner in which it ended. Huh. Alas, recent events have rendered the majority of it moot, so I'm going to have to improvise. Unless you have any words of wisdom to impart before I go. Yeah, don't give away... Don't give anything away, just find out what she has to say. You'd make a fine three dragon anti player, you know? <laughs> I think it's best I keep a cool head going into this. Exactly. Approach it like a particularly high risk round of three dragon anti. I'll let Mistress show her flight, and then I can see how strong a chance we stand of winning the gambit. I'll only be gone for a matter of moments. The outer planes experience time quite differently to our own. Wait for me. Please. <clears throat> Okay. Gale of Waterdeep. You look well. As do you. But I assume we're not here solely to exchange compliments. So why am I here? You discovered what lies at the heart of the Absolute, the Crown of Causes. And you disobeyed my instruction. Why? Because you had no right to ask that of me. You cast me out. Remember? You were my lover. My chosen. Yeah. Yet still you know so little of me. The past cannot be undone with self-pity. Nor can a future be forged. Only with the truth will you see the way ahead. The fragment of magic you tried to return to me was not of my creation. It was the Carsite Weave. It is a corrupted, half-born magic wrought in the brief moment Carsus ascended to godhood. It hungers for power, 
just as he did. And it can never be sated. You unleashed something that would consume all magic in existence. And yet you thought only of preserving yourself. So that's what you're scared of. With the crown of Karsus reforged, I could take control of the Karsite Weave. You can no more control the Karsite Weave than a weather vane could control a storm. That it entered your body and consumed no more than your powers was a miracle. But we will not be granted another. The only reason the orb sleeps is because I have allowed it to feed on the true weave. A ah. temporary measure, but one that will not be enough to save us. With each day that passes, the Elder Brain threatens to become a new kind of god. Its worshippers, a scourge of soulless illithids. If you will not use the orb to end this abomination, then you must find a way to separate crown and host. When you've done this, you must surrender the crown of Karsis to me. A great ask indeed. You've given me much to think on, as you always did. So be it. Follow the needle of your own wisdom. We shall see how truly it leads you. Hmm. What what? What would she do with the crown of Karsus, right? Aha, uh -huh. let's talk to Gail. The Karsite weave. I had no idea. Do you realize what this means? The orb is no stray piece of ordinary magic. It is something entirely different. The nascent form of a new divine power of course i couldn't control it i was mortal but once i reforge the crown the power of a god will be mine to command the orb will answer to me i don't think that's a good idea exactly sounds evil right Evil is a reductive term. Yeah. Too often used to dismiss choices the observer lacks the imagination to understand. Let me assure you, Karsite Weave has no more inherent evil to it than a, a child in the womb or an axe half forged on the blacksmith's anvil. It is a tool ready to be shaped by its wielder, by me. And you know me to be someone of reasonably sound moral judgment, don't you? I exactly but they didn't I always thought it was a miracle that I survived but I'm starting to wonder if there was more to it what if it chose me exactly this one I don't think you're quite seeing what I'm seeing think about it the crown of Carsus the nether stones the Carsi weave no more than a tadpole's breath from being reunited. This is my chance to get back everything that was taken from me. Everything Mistra denied me. And once I have it, I can forge a better world. Be a better god. I don't know I about that. to help me. Uh, let's say this one, right? Well then. What more is there to discuss? All we need to do is stay focused on the task at hand. Defeating that elder brain. After that, you can leave the rest to me. Uh, I guess we can wrap up the... Murder target Frank. I guess we can wrap up the destroy the steel watch foundry part, right? Let's go here. You stopped queuing because you felt funny. Secure area. This dock is closed until further notice by order of Lord Gortash. 
try to divide us with his lies, but no uh. Today we will yes. Alcohol. Huh. Will we fall victim to Whoa, Wolo? No. What is the hell is going on? Will we allow ourselves to be manip It's not a lie. If you would just listen, I could explain. You have done quite enough explaining. Volotham Gadam. You have poisoned the very hearts and minds of these good, kind, gentle citizens with your lies, your delusions, your conspiracies. Though you hide behind a mask of stories, we have seen beyond the veil. We see what you really are. Fearmonger. Here, here! Attention seeker! Here, here! Agent of chaos! Your parasite stirs in recognition. This man is infected. Ah! In the hells follow! Today, citizens, we rid ourselves of this cankerous sore. Today, we burn away all falsehoods today we will be divided no longer for today we rise in truth Psst. don't just stand there help me gods damn it help me i suppose we should aid him though i'd hate to miss the show <laughs> Okay, let's save it here. That's this one. What's this? Another heretic in our midst? Another mind clouded by the disruptor's lies? Another soul to cleanse? Well, we are nothing if not gracious. Let us see if we cannot lift the veil from their eyes too. No, please, no! Volo? Charm. Take three people, right? Let's do that. Nice. And then we can do Okay. Okay, I I can't reach destination it says. Uh Seriously? Nice. Time to push my luck again. Or of murder. Wow. Mm. 
let's do the yeah, let's just do normal attack nice so he's down Let's come here. Let's do this. Nice. Yeah, yeah, I will do that. Okay, fine. Come on. Oh wow Oh damn Come on Now you're just messing with me. Let's do this. Okay, off balance. Thank you. Okay, so he's dead. With pleasure. Oh, really? Oh, damn it. Fine, let's just do this. Seriously? Nice. Yeah. All right. Yeah, let's just do this. Let's just do that. Nice. So she's dead. May the gods take you first. I won't give in. There's blood in the air. Oh, uh, seriously? That again. May the dice roll in my favor. Uh, 
Uh, let's just kill him. Really? I was done for. <laughs> I suppose thanks are in order. Again, what's an heroic story without a little risking of one's neck, eh? And you know what they say the bigger the story, the more people want to kill you for it. <laughs> I'll tell you all about it, but not here. Too many eyes, ears, and weapons about. Meet me at your camp. All right. Of course, let's pick that up. That helped. It's the only solution. Trust me. I'll catch up to you. Can't give up now. Hmm. Better catch up to us. There we are, Captain. Just these three, there's something off for them. The next boat. Okay. How do fish even get dirty? They live in water. <laughs> Security zone. Trespassers will be terminated without warning. Okay, and what's this? Okay, so this is... Uh, what is this? Untaken Diomira Trellis Oh, Wave Mother Queen of the Depths Hear me Please carry Holly to her final rest In the deep wilds Please Sorry, are you here for Wave Servant Holly's funeral? Oh, it's already started out the just inside. Is that what that singing is for? Yes, oh, please, you're most welcome. We have much to be thankful for. May the Wave Mother smile on you as she did Holly. Okay. Water Queen's house. I thought it wise to make an offering to the Sea Queen before sailing out tomorrow. Wasn't expecting to find the servants so preoccupied. Okay. Bitch Queen's. What? Bitch Queen's blessings. Here to make an offering to Umberly as well, eh? They say it's good luck to placate the Bitch Queen after a drowning. Glad to hear it. Maybe Umberly will set her hand to all the strangeness going on in Grey Harbor. Now she's lost one up. Okay. What? Untaken glory. The celebration is in the main chamber. Praise Umberly. Okay. Rejoice, sisters. 
For Umberly has blessed her humble daughter with a pure death. Her lips blue with her kiss, her lungs full of her quenching word. Umberly's mercy saved her from a slow, sinking death in the beast's shadow. How dare this beast sully the safety of Grey Harbor? We will find its master and send him struggling into the bitch queen's embrace. Not a sweet sleep like Holly's, but a suffocating flood of fruitless garths and bursting flesh. You, supplicant, what tribute do you bring to honor the Wave Mother's fallen daughter? I guess I could part with my gourd, sure. A fine offering. Always appreciated in the eyes of the Wave Mother. Your tribute is well received. Breathe deep as she permits. Did this person yes. drown? Thank the Wave Mother. Blessed Umberly saw fit to spare her an ignoble death. But her passing was not as the Wave Mother intended. Hmm. It was a beast who took her life. An unnatural one whose very existence is an affront to Umberly. A wretched metal monstrosity hewn by hubris. Okay. A rusting pollutant that bleeds black blood into Umberly's pristine waters. Yep. The Queen of the Depths is generous to those who serve her, and her favor is far less deadly than her wrath. Find the master of this poisonous beast and slay him. Then one of her most precious gifts shall be yours. Okay. You're reminded of the man you met beneath the Grey Harbor and the submersible he commanded. Kiss your brow. We await your return and the beast master's demise. Okay. Sing, sisters. Sing. Name. Miss. Okay, we found the beast, a metal submersible craft, and his master red hammer, the divisor. If we want to fulfill our promise to. Alendra, he has to die. Red Hammer, the divisor, confessed that he often accidentally bumps into Wave Servant. Sounds like he could be Holly's killer, though not intentionally. We spared Red Hammer and Belly's wrath for now and have charged him with taking us to Gothas's Iron Throne. I see. Fish is piss. I loved Holly as much as anyone, but they've been wailing and praying for hours. My best pot for a bit of quiet. Aha. <laughs> uh -huh. There's nothing for you up here, Flotsam. Back downstairs you go. Send to camp. Let's take all that. It will come in handy. Send this to camp. Let's read this. We'll take all that. Okay, let's just go here back here and check. Alright. I'm telling you. A survivor is so Very well. Matt Hurney. 
If they're right about the Swahagan, I may take up another line of work. Though nothing seems safe these days. Okay. Let me save. If we Let's go here. Ah, Water Queen Cellar. You shouldn't be down here. This place is off limits to lay people. You look lost. The stairs behind you will take you back up to the temple. All right. Worth it. You've set foot in a restricted area. A swift exit may be in order. Okay. Okay, we'll come back here, I guess. Let's go. 